Yo, yo, people, are gone. Welcome back. So, in this one, I'm going to be doing a quick overview, stroke review of Wolfenstein: The Young Blood. A very good first-person shooter, but it does have some flaws. So, let's jump into this one. All right. So, BJ or Blaschkowitz, um, the person you play as in the first three games, is a very old man now. He has his two daughters. I would say they're um, late teenagers. They didn't specify, or maybe I missed that part. Um, he's a very old man, but he somehow still manages to be killing Nazis. His daughters have now taken up the trade as well, and they have the super suit. So, do you remember the super suit from one of the games where he broke his spine? They now both have those super suits. The premise of the game is that they both go on some form of mission to try and find their dad because he's just gone missing. He went on some mission and never came back. They do eventually find him and all three of them work together to take down, I guess, the boss of this game. So I do know I'm a bit late when it comes to playing this game because this came out back in 2019, I believe. However, I just managed to get it on Game Pass. I've been playing my Xbox a lot recently. And it just came across my mind because I played the first two or three games before and they were really, really good. And I thought, okay, let me try this one as well. Um, let me start off by saying, I don't really like the characters of the two girls. I think the way they pulled it off wasn't the best way possible. For example, they're just randomly, constantly swearing for no reasons. They do seem to have a good relationship as sisters, but, it, but they don't play off each other very well. The, um, the good thing about having both of them on screen at all times is that you can play the entire campaign with someone else online. So that's really good. But I just think the way they interact with each other isn't very, isn't very fun in my opinion. A big strong point of this game for me was actually the gunplay and um, the powers that these girls had. So the powers, very simple, but it, it felt a lot like Crisis. Because in Crisis, I know you could run, you could slide, you could do a super high jump, you could smash down on the ground, stuff like that. Um, and the gunplay, it felt very much like Doom. It was really fluid, really smooth. I think the guns themselves were unique looking. They all had unique firing modes and additions you could add to them to make them more powerful, which, which was really good. Um, to be honest, I didn't really use all the guns. I used the, the shotgun mainly and the AK-47 looking gun. I don't remember the names of them, but those two, if you maximize those two power sets of those guns, you can basically take anything and everything down relatively quickly. Before I forget, let me just quickly say the footage that you're seeing now is from the Xbox One X. I don't have a Series X as of yet, and I wanted to play this on Game Pass. I was surprised at how good the game looked and how smooth it ran. Now, I could hear my Xbox ramping up a bit, but never to the stage where it got really, really annoying. And the visuals look really nice to me. For something that came out back in 2019, which wasn't too long ago, that was only two years, but to be running this well and this smoothly on the One X still to this day, when I've seen what the PS5 can do, when I've seen what the Series X can do, these guys did a really good job on this game, that much I can say. So I am going to keep this one very short, as I'm still trying to work out the formula of how to do these, so I don't want to go overboard. But let me say, what I think they should do next. Um, they should bring BJ back, he was such a, a, a pivotal character in the series. His performances were really good. Um, I really felt like a superhero when using him. Using these girls, there's not... Um, there's nothing wrong with them, but I just liked his character a bit more. He had more of a driving force, I believe. His stories were really well grounded and they, they, they just made sense in a world where Nazis still rule the world. He was a standout character. And his villains were actually really good. These girls, I don't think they, well, in my opinion, the villain that they had was a bit bland. Um, took a bit late to introduce the villain as well and they weren't nearly as interesting as the villain that BJ had. So. I think they should bring BJ back, maybe make it a three-player co-op where he's there with them because currently it's only two-player co-op, right? So maybe make a three-player co-op where you, you could actually choose who you want to bring on a mission with you, maybe him, may, maybe the mom. Now that Microsoft also owns Bethesda, the creator of this game, I do think that they could make this one of their standout single-player and possibly multiplayer campaigns as well. Multiplayer meaning you can play with someone the entire campaign, like they did with Halo 5. Um, I just think they need to focus a bit more on the story. The story was a good length. It wasn't too long, not too short, but you just needed to be a bit more interesting. Them searching for their dad, yes, it was a nice in introduction to their story. So I do hope that for the next one, um, if they are going to be the main characters, which it seems that they will be, they just have a bit more depth to them. That would be nice. 
Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Please do like, subscribe, comment, share the whole thing, right? I will be releasing a few more videos. The next one I have coming is probably Doom Eternal. Yes, again, that came out in 2020, but that game is so good. It does have a few pitfalls, so I will be mentioning those as well. All right, peace.